on to it, it would have done that. Not thinking, oh, I wish I would have held on to it. Why'd I do that? No, see, it, it's how you log and journal. You retain the positives and you don't record any of the negative stuff. Because when you record it in your journal, negative, your subconscious retains that. And you anchor a toxic event around something you're trying to grow as a positive investment for your life. So you're shooting yourself in the foot, basically. You're trying to turn something you've been motivated to do for a positive thing, you're turning it toxic without realizing it. So that's why it, you're, you're, you're sugarcoating all of your journal experiences. You want it to be a love story to yourself. You're writing a love note to yourself every trading day and you're doing it through charts. You're showing charts and you're putting little, I love what I'm doing. This is great that I can see this. And you're retaining that. Your brain loves that kind of stuff. Your brain loves it. It releases chemicals into your body that remembers it better than just the static memory of it alone. Think about it. When you went to a movie, maybe you've already seen this movie, okay? And you went there and you saw it with your friends. You saw it, it was all right, okay? And you were meeting this girl or significant other. And they said, hey, look, you know, I really would like to see this movie. And you're thinking, oh, fuck, I've already seen this movie. All right, well, they want to go. I don't want to be a jerk. Let me, let's just go with them. And you go to the movie and you have a great time. They're holding their hand and they're, you know, the experience there. And now all of a sudden that movie has a positive attachment to your memory versus, yeah, I saw it. It was all right. Now you got somebody that's nice to you, that smells next to you. It's like beautiful and it's just, it's a totally different experience. And now you add to it what? All the embellishments of what happens after the movie without being crude. And it doesn't necessarily mean the bedroom either. Going to a dinner, taking a walk and, and saying that was a great movie. I love having time with you. All those things are positive things that you're remembering. When you break up with people, as painful as it is to think about the things that caused that breakup, when you're not with them and they come to mind, what do you think of? I miss them when I used to do this with them. And you miss that. You ache. Because you made what? A positive memory about that moment with that person. And when every time you think about that song when it comes on, that's why it hurts. Because you can't plug into that good feeling anymore. You've been cut off. So you don't ever want to invite that shit in your journaling. Journaling is always positive. You never, ever, ever say anything negative in your journaling, ever. Even if you did something wrong, you say, okay, this was an amazing opportunity for me to get the insights for when the market does this. You see what I just did there? I discharged and disarmed any possible chance for me to look at that losing trade or an idea that I thought would have panned out in the marketplace that was a perfect example, CPI. You saw two instances where I co-signed. I didn't have to do it, but I wanted to prove to you, this is what I would expect right now. And it didn't do it. It just went right up the other way or other way you know, going down. There was another time earlier in the summer where I did it where Caleb was right next to me and literally, literally was like, wow, that was so quick. But that same instance, I was right about it, but I wouldn't touch it. So that speed of movement and price action on those types of events, if you're wrong, the way you disarm that is say, okay, this is why we don't trade ahead of the CPI number because it's too violent, it's too one-sided, and it's unforgiving. You can't trade your way out of it. You can't fix it. When the damage is done, it's like a neutron bomb, just boom, it's gone. All living organisms are evaporated. <laughs> Everything else looks the same except for any living organism is gone. So you don't want to you don't want to vanquish your your trading career on one trading event like a CPI number. And you don't also want to stifle your development by recording highly emotional negativity in your journal entries. And it's easy to do. You feel like you want to do it. Don't. Don't go on social media and complain either. Oh, stupid so-and-so. Or I made a stupid mistake. I fucked up doing this, doing that. When you do that, you release it and it comes out of you. You think you let go of it, but your subconscious has got a, a lifeline to that 
and it's anchored to your subconscious and you will not cut it off. And the next time you get in the marketplace, what's going to happen is, all right, I'm getting in a trade. Oh, shit. You know, this feels like that last time it did this and this and this. And I, you know, took a bigger hit than I was supposed to. I'm scared. Now you're worried about having a repeat of that same toxic event that's normal with trading. You're going to have a losing trade. You're going to do something wrong. That's normal. Okay. Every one of us is doing it wrong. Okay. Every single one of us is going to have that. It doesn't mean you can't trade. It doesn't mean you're not profitable. It doesn't mean you have a good system or not a good system. It just means that you're human. But when you get in that trade and now you're starting to think about that other time when that, when I was at band camp and you know what I mean? That whole bad experience. I'm not trying to make fun of anybody that went to band camp, but no, I didn't go to band camp. <laughs> but the, if you look at the, the logic of referring back to another trade, while you're in that trade, are you managing that trade? No, you're managing fear about another trade that you can't make more on or lose more on. So your mind's divided. So the way you avoid all that shit is not to give it any energy in your journal. You take every experience, positive or negative, profitable or negative, a loss, and you make it an instructive, positive installment in your development. When does your development stop? When you're dead.